Thanksgiving is almost here, and many of you folks will be getting these dinner rolls. Now, I don't know about you, but, um, the thing is, you are not buying these for Thanksgiving. I got something better instead. If you haven't guessed yet, we're going to be adding cheddar and bacon to cornbread. Because if we're going to go through all that trouble, we might as well make something that's delicious on its own. Now, let me show you how to make it before you drool all over your keyboard. Now, let's preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Did you have to Google Thanksgiving to see what it was? Well, the number you're looking for is 220 degrees Celsius. Now, to construct this recipe, you're going to need two bowls a medium-sized bowl for our wet ingredients, and a large one for the dry ingredients. Let's start off with the dry. One cup of yellow cornmeal, one cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of baking powder. Stir everything together with a whisk. Set that aside. In the medium-sized bowl, crack one egg. Beat it up so it's easier to stir. One cup of milk. And a quarter cup of vegetable oil. Mix to combine. Add it to our dry ingredients. Stir until it's nice and lumpy. Don't overmix it. Okay, it's going to need a little bit more milk. Now, let's add one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Make sure it's the sharp kind. Next, grab yourself a 12-inch cast iron skillet. Bonus points if it's a large cast iron skillet. If you need one, I'll put a link in the description. Put this on high heat and melt one tablespoon of butter. Once the butter is melted, it's time to add our cornbread batter. Next, throw in a couple tablespoons of chopped green onions and about half a cup of chopped bacon. You can customize the amount if you want to. Now let's just kind of fold it in nicely. Stick it into our 425 degree oven and let it cook for about 20 minutes. Once the 20 minutes are up, take it out of the oven, let it cool on a wooden cutting board. And once it's done, dig in. Delicious loaded cornbread, the start of a thousand uses. You can have it by itself, use it to mop up the turkey and gravy drippings, or shove it in a family member's face when they bring up politics at the dinner table. This has been Jay's Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time.